Hey y'all, Wild Kyle here. I am on the road up to Michigan right now, and I just stopped in Richmond, Kentucky to get some gas and to get some coffee and food, and I saw this incredibly cool road cut. There's fossils in it. I already found some cool brachiopods and stuff, so I'm gonna turn the camera around here in a second and show you all that. And then I think we'll get some live shots of finding a couple things here and there. It's not a huge road cut, but we'll check it out for a little bit. And uh, I'll probably just add this into another video, I'm assuming, because I don't think this is gonna be long enough for a full video, but I'll just throw this in with uh, something else. But yeah, I'm on the way to Michigan. It's early in the morning right now. I'm excited to get some coffee in me. But I'm more excited about fossils. So let me get this turned around, show you all this stuff I already found, and then we'll find some more. Check this out, y'all. Look at these brachiopods in here. Really cool stuff. I had to stop for some breakfast, man. I didn't expect to find cool fossils. Check that out. These are really cool. I want to look on my phone and see what, what age I'm in. But this is some really neat stuff. I wonder if you could find trilobites and stuff here. I love these. These are, There's some big brachiopods. That's really, really cool. This is like a shell. Cool, cool fossils. All right, let's look it up to see the age. All right, I pulled up the Rocked app on my phone. If you don't have Rocked, it's very helpful for geology nerds such as myself. Looks like we're in the Ordovician, the Ashlock Formation. Late Ordovician, 458.4 to 443.8 million years old. Limestone, dolomitic, and silty, medium to light, olive gray, mottled with grayish green, fine grained. Uh, yeah, that's that sounds like exactly what we're in. Fossils abundant, mostly brachiopods and bryozoans. Yep, that's exactly where we're at. All right, cool. I think this might be my first time finding Ordovician fossils. That's cool. Okay, first of all, this rock wall is really cool. The old road cut. I wonder if the fossils are coming from the top layer or down here. I haven't seen any fossils in the, bl the bluish stuff, so I think they might actually be coming from way up there. Just kind of wild, just kind of falling down over time. Let's find a fossil together. There's a piece of a brachiopod, a very small piece. Sheep. Look at this rock that's just got stuff all in it. There's brachiopod there. So that looks like bryozoan stuff. Part of a brachiopod right there. Oh, look at that brachiopod right. Yar. Not the bad one. Very cool. If y'all know the species of these specific brachiopods, let me know in the comments below. Partial brachiopod in the rock, right there. A scary glove. What's this? It's got little fossil bits all in it. Kind of like these pieces with the stain on them. Got all the little little marine organisms hiding away in there. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, look at this one. Ugh. This thing's got all kinds of funky stuff going on it, and it just broke. Oh yeah, look at that big bryozoan chunk. That's a weird one. And there's like a brachiopod there, brachiopod there. There's some like weird long something things. That's kind of a cool piece. This is really neat stuff. What's, what's going on down here? This one's got some interesting little bits in it, too. This stuff is so cool. I love this stuff. There's some bryozoan right there. Oh, am I on it? Right there. Focus, baby. Bryozoan. There's a big old brachiopod. There's a big fat brachiopod right there. Very nice. A big boy. Holy moly. Check that brachiopod out. Biggin'. Very cool fossils right here. There's a brachiopod on the top of that rock. Very abundant brachiopods. They are correct on the rock app. Plenty full fossils. All right, y'all, that was awesome. I gotta get back on the road though, but we found some really cool stuff right there. And I'm gonna add this into another video. So let's see what else we're gonna find in today's video right now. Hey y'all, all right. I am in extreme treasure hunting mode today. I pinned a bunch of spots on the map here in Michigan near where my mother lives. And you know what? I'm gonna see if I can find some antique bottles and treasures today. 
I'm at this creek right here right now. Um, this town I'm in was founded in 1833 and right now the creek looks really really clean. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to come across any glass or bottles or anything but I'm going to take a little bit of a walk and take y'all along with me and we're probably going to check a bunch of spots today unless this spot turns out to be really amazing and then we'll spend the day here but we're going to see how it goes. I'm excited. I've, I've never been to any of these places before so it's going to be a nice fun day for all of us so let's see what we can find. What I like about this creek is it's very shallow, very, very clear water, like really nice water, really rocky. So that worries me a little bit for bottles. Stuff could just get busted up pretty bad, I think, but there ought to be some bottles in here somewhere. This is an old town that I'm in. I said there's got to be glass in here somewhere. I turned the camera off and there's glass on the bank right there. Ugh. I can't tell if that's something I think that might actually be from something fairly old. It's pretty thick. Just sitting right on the bank. Look how beautiful this little spot is. It's big rocks and flowing water. Nice clear water. You just don't get a lot of this kind of stuff in Florida so it's nice to enjoy it while we're here. Kind of makes you hope there's not a bunch of trash in here, right? <laughs> Even though we want to find trash for, for the video and to find treasure, but you kind of want this to be a pristine creek. <clears throat> yep, that's exactly what I wanted to see. <laughs> Someone sleeps here, my friends. I, okay, okay, okay. We, It could be someone's hanging out by the creek, right? It could just be that. Or someone lives here. I mean, look, they had a toy car and they broke it and oh wait a minute look at this that's stacked up there on purpose like that so no 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 that's not someone hanging out by the creek someone lives there <laughs> they made a little fort <laughs> anyways i'm on this little bar now here and there's some green glass green glass is not typically the age we're gonna want um there's bottle top there's some more green there is that green or aqua that's green but that looks a little older Detroit, Michigan on the bottom. That's kind of cool. Huh. We're not at complete lack of possible treasure. That's for sure. It seems to be uh, getting more and more stuff as I go this way too. Like more bricks and uh, things of that nature. So that's always a good sign. We're just in it to explore, my friends. We don't know what we're going to find. We've never been here before. Might find nothing. Might find a bunch of something awesome. I don't know if you're going to be able to see. There's a lot of bricks. There's a brick. There's a brick. There's a brick. There's a brick. That's a good sign. Typically, I start seeing a lot of bricks when I start getting to dumpy areas. There's a piece of corn. There's another brick. That, that one looks like it may have had some words on it, but it's really wore out. So, we might be getting closer to some stuff. There's a, uh, if anyone wants to pot a plant. Well, this water is so clear. Not a lot of glass, though, I don't think. Yeah, there's a brick. There's, is that porcelain? Oh, that's part of a porcelain jar. So that's a little interesting. How about a bone? Anyone need a bone? Is that a big old piece of glass? Oh, well, it's the bottom of a plate. I don't mind that. That's definitely uh, promising. I mean, you can see all the uh, flat... Yeah, like there's some glass right there. What's that from? Ugh. Almost looks like part of an orange crush. This has got to be some sort of dumpy area. Look at that thing. Someone dumped something giant and metal right there. Oh, and over there. Getting a little deeper here. All right, let's scour this area for a moment. Might be worth looking up there even. What even is this thing? Dude, I've got to see the other side of this. Like, what actually is happening over there? What is that? It's, it looks like a dang... It's like someone dumped a railroad car into the creek. <laughs> and it's just been rotting away. That's weird. Farm equipment? In the woods? <laughs> what in the world? Oh. Dude. Why I'll bury it? What in? Yeah, that's a plow of some sort. Just up in the woods. That's kind of cool. Look at that thing. Man, 
This thing should be sitting in the front of someone's yard somewhere, looking all cool. People just be throwing farm equipment in here. This one's got a thing on it that we could actually look up. Model H Series 47. That's actually really cool. I wonder how old this thing is. That's pretty wild, dude. That's cool. This big old tire. And look at this contraption. Check that out. That's not terrifying in any way whatsoever. <laughs> Look at this thing. Dude, there's some wild stuff up here just sitting in the woods. Why? Here's some more strange giant equipment. Look at that. Wild stuff up here. So much farm equipment. Look at these things. What I'm wondering though is am I going to come across any bottles? Or is it going to be skeletons of farm life? Hold up a little second now. Is that a cork bottle? Check that out. That's a little more like what we's looking for. A little bottle with a cork top. Not sure exactly what that would have been, but that is, uh, that's very promising. Let's see. Oh, how about that? Oh, shoot. Uh, there's a white jar. Okay. Ew, there's a, a leech of sorts. Just the thing I wanted to see. Oh, there's a uh, broken 7-Up ACL. Not quite what we want, but it's an ACL. Oh, wait a minute. I think we're getting it. Because if you look right there, there's one of those pharmacy bottles with the measurements on it. And this one's... This one looks like it might be blown in a mold. That's very promising. Under there was uh, some sort of ACL thing that I'm not super interested in. Oh, that's what I found the bottom of earlier, too. I actually don't know what that one would have been. This, though, that's much more promising right there. Um, that's, that's getting close to the age that we're looking for. There's, okay. I'm starting to see a lot of glass, my friends. Look at that. Part of a jar of some sorts. And there's a jar kind of hidden over here. Ooh. Broken ball jar. Just a clear one, not very old. All right, this is getting interesting. Look at those little welts on my arm. I don't know if y'all can see it. That's where I, I rubbed onto some sort of nettle. Something like that. Looks a lot like some stuff I hit last year when I was in Michigan looking at, um, what was I doing? That pyrite, looking for pyrite that day. Feels about the same too. It should go away here in a few minutes. That looks perhaps a wee bit older. Oh yeah, Shh. Pfeiffer, that's a Detroit, Michigan beer. And these are a little bit older, probably 30s. All right, sad it's busted, but it's hard to see the embossing on, oh. Hard to see that there's embossing right through there. It's kind of cool to see. Kyle found a teacup. How is that not broken? It's really scummy, it's glass. That's really actually disgusting. Oh, that's actually... Whoa. That looks kind of cool. That's a cool design. And it's not destroyed. I don't know how old it would be. I'm going to just throw it in my bag, though. Clean it up and see what it looks like because there's a cool design on it. Let's throw it in the bag. I got this big bag. This big bag right here. Maybe not the best for bottles because... Come over here. Stuff will clang around, but... I haven't found anything but that yet to keep, so yeah, we'll see. An interesting shaped bottle of square proportions. Oh, it's embossed. Egyptian Chemical Co. Boston Mass. Look at that top. That makes me think 30s or 40s, right? But it's embossed. That's cool. 
Never found one like that before. Egyptian Chemical Co. Boston, Massachusetts. Shoot. I'll take it, man. It's an embossed antique bottle. Sweet. I just saw a skunk run into there. I forget that skunks are like prevalent in Michigan. And I am uh, not excited about the potential of being sprayed by one of those. <laughs> no, thank you. But I'm starting to see some more stuff here. Look at this. Uh, why am I going closer to where the skunk was? Sa Look at a brick that says savage. That's really cool. Savage. If bricks weren't so heavy and huge, I would uh, take it. <laughs> but bricks are a bit of a hassle. All right, so I'm starting to see a lot more pieces of glass here. I swear I hear that skunk yelling at me. I don't know what kind of sound they make, I guess, but look at this part of another. Ooh, that, I don't think, you. I don't think that had the measurements on it. I think that would have been a pharmacy bottle that was probably embossed. Dang it, man. That looks pretty cool. We got pieces of glass like crazy right here. That was not glass. Um, there's like a shredded up fish right there. So there's a lot of stuff right in this little spot, but which makes me think upstream, you might be getting into some more stuff. So let me just uh, strategically make my way over here right where I saw the skunk run from and hope his family is not awaiting my arrival. I don't know how this works. I don't know if skunks like live in nests or am I gonna like make his babies? Am I gonna like tick it off by coming into his home? <laughs> This looks dumpy as heck. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff right here in the water, so naturally you start to look toward the bank. And sure enough, there is, uh, there's glass and stuff in the bank here. It's not looking completely like the age I'm interested in fully, but there might be some cool stuff because I'm just upstream from that embossed Egyptian whatever it was I found. So like, look, there's stuff sticking out of the bank here. That's uh, just a food jar. Kind of interesting, little thin one. I've not, uh, I don't think I've seen one like that before. And then if you look here, that's kind of an interesting shape. Oh, it's just a little jar. See, that stuff's not terribly old looking to me. Oh, you know I like my ink bottles though. So there's a good ink bottle. It just has the two ounces on the top. And on the bottom she says, what does that say? Milwaukee Diamond Ink Company. Oh, that's cool. Actually, I've never found that specific ink bottle before. So that's kind of cool. This actually looks like the same shape as that, that one I just picked up out of the creek. Oh, look at that. It is. It's embossed, too. Oh, wait. This one's... Okay, there it is. Oh, get off of there. Egyptian Chemical Company, Boston Mass again. <laughs> That's cool. Now I got one to give to Mama. All right, y'all. It's time to turn my way back around. Things have been devoid of glass for a while. I did get some cool bottles. Nothing insanely rare. Nothing like that. But we got to keep exploring this way on the way back. Keep kind of looking in the water where we've already walked. Um, even though now I'm going downstream, so it's all going to get silty in front of me. Look at the banks closer. And then maybe... Uh, Check out another spot today as well. Let's do it. All right, everyone. I am off to the next destination, to a town that was founded in 1865. So we're gonna cruise on over there. I've got some creeks on the map that look like they might be worth looking at. So let's go see what we can find. I am now right next to a graveyard with a ton of old graves. Do you see how far down that creek is? I don't know. If y'all can tell exactly, that's far. I gotta find like a, I guess this is doable. It's probably gonna be slippery on the way back up, but oh God. Wish me luck, y'all. I'm just gonna ease my way on down this hillside without slipping and breaking things, hopefully. 
and then I'll figure it out when I start going back up. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, this is a cool creek. I don't see any single sign of glass or anything yet, unfortunately. But it's worth a little walk. All right, I grabbed the GoPro out of the bag because I believe I can get a less shaky and probably more accurate view of this creek with the GoPro. Like I said, I'm not seeing glass, but this is a really cool creek. There's these really, really steep embankments here. And there's a graveyard up there. So we're not too far from that little town. So I thought maybe, maybe there's a chance of finding some stuff here. Um, oh, wait a minute. What's going on here? Look at that. Porcelain plate pieces. Porcelain, porcelain plate pieces, blah, blah, blah. pieces everywhere. All those plates are here. I literally just walked up on this. Some sort of glass. Interesting. Where's this coming from? Is it coming from up high? I don't think I see any up high. Maybe way up there. I might have to climb up there. I think I do see some Is that glass. There's some glass there. Actually, looks maybe old-ish. Oh, yeah, look at all this. That's pretty right there. So, this was... Is this coming from upstream? Or is it coming from right here? That's what I need to find out. Okay, I see some up high. So, I might have to walk up there. Oh, wow. It must just be up high because I... Walk just a little bit upstream and suddenly I'm not seeing any of it. Actually it doesn't make any sense. Let's keep let's keep walking upstream just a little bit. Man. Could y'all look at that bank? I hope you can see just how tall that is. This creek has seen some floods. This is wild. Oh. <laughs> I don't even feel like I'm in Michigan right now. There's a, you don't see a lot of stuff that looks like that around, around this area. Yeah, cool, man. All right, we tried that spot, gave it a good go, and uh, not much, not much at all, unfortunately. Promising location, but it did not pan out, but that's okay, because that's just the way it goes sometimes. So now I am driving up the road to another little creek uh, right in the same town, um, or maybe it looks like a bigger creek. Uh, we're going to find out, and we're going to see if we can find anywhere to walk around a little bit, so wish me luck. Well, well, you can take a look at this beauty. This creek is this creek is way too pretty to have trash in it. There's not gonna be trash here. <laughs> There's no way. Wow. This is like a place you could come kayaking. I think it's worth giving it a little bit of a go. Oh look. There actually is some porcelain stuff out here. I couldn't help but come look at this bank that I'm standing on right now because it's just <laughs> insanely rocky. You know, I like my rocks. It's actually a fair fair amount of uh, pieces of junk. Oh, that's something that was in Boston. It says Michigan on it. Okay. That looks like it could have been like a milk bottle or something. More little porcelain. There actually is like metal pieces here. That's like some weird metal bit. Um, I thought I saw something else metal. Where'd you go? There it is. Yeah, look at this. Some metal stuff right there. So we're not completely devoid of junk right here. Oh, there's another piece. 
of that. Wait a minute. Is that, that looks like somebody's been digging. No way. Look at those footprints right here where I hadn't walked. Oh yeah, dude. There's a piece of an insulator. People have absolutely been scratching around in the bank right here. Wow. Huh. Okay, that's kind of crazy. Funny, I don't see much up there. I wonder what's up in the woods. Yeah, look at that. People have absolutely been scratching around right here. Huh. Wow, man. Yeah, look, there's a piece of a Bromo or something. Yeah, it's part of a Bromo seltzer. Big metal thing there. Oh, yeah. People dig here. They try to dig up something big and red right there. Look at that, jars. Someone piled those up. <laughs> what are the odds of that, man? Someone's <laughs> checking out the same spots. I guess it's uh, I guess it's the way it goes. There's only a certain amount of spots you can look at, really, aren't there? Dang, look at all that glass. Look at that. Piece of a crock. That's kind of cool. I don't know how long it's been since someone has dug here. It doesn't look that old. Oh man. Oh, someone hit a layer right there. Look at that. That's part of a whiskey bottle thing. Oh yeah. Look at all these. Super recent digging, man. Someone was digging right there. Look at all that. That's a layer. That is a layer of stuff. A lot of metal. It looks tough to dig. What kind of stuff were they piling up over here? Anything of any age? Looks like an early machine made bottle for sure. Teacup thing. Oh, that looks, uh, what's that? Oh, that's old. A little cork topper. Look at this stuff. Multiple pieces of milk bottles. Old soda looking something. Milk. Something there. Someone we someone be digging right here. Just walked out in the water. Hoob, Hoobiner, Hoobiner, Toledo, Ohio. That's a nice old soda or beer right there. I like the size of that. That was just out here in the water, downstream from the spot over there where the people have been digging. That's quite interesting to see. Very interesting to see. Check out this little button I just picked up. Saw that just sitting down there. I was actually going to pick up this piece of a medicine bottle. Broken one, but kind of funny to see that little button right there. This is turning into a little interesting spot. I wonder if it would be productive to have gloves. I don't have any gloves with me, but if I could come back and mess around with some gloves and this stuff, it could be potentially interesting, I think. Well, I would say that was an interesting spot. Um, potential digging absolutely but I didn't see anything terribly old but it might be something worth trying maybe I'll call James up and see if he'd be willing to give it a try one day well y'all we did not find the treasure mother load but we had a great day getting out and exploring in hopes of finding the treasure mother load and you have to do that or else you just will never know sometimes you got to have some days that you don't find the greatest stuff but any day getting out of the house and finding some okay stuff and seeing some beautiful sights is always a good thing so, thanks for watching, y'all. If you enjoyed it, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. 
and I'll see y'all in the next video.